Good morning. I wanted to talk with you about something that can make a tremendous uh, change in your music and your skill as a player. And it is a concept called the pyramid. You know, like an Egyptian pyramid. And a lot of players, they're not getting better. They play two, three, four years are about the same. They don't really progress, and they're not too sure why. Well, the way it works with musical instruments is that you have this thing called a pyramid of bass skills, basic raw skills from which you jump and move as a player. What are those skills? Well, the most important skill, bass skill with harmonica, because it's a wind instrument, is the breath. That's a big one. Control the breath. Articulation. Moving from note to note with the slide or without the slide. Quickly and easily and efficiently. Can you imagine a pianist that couldn't move between notes? It won't work. Same with the harmonica. So that's really a big one, what's called articulation. Another one would be bends. The control of airflow to take a note off pitch and bring it back. Vibrato the variation of pitch that creates change to the note, more interest. Embouchure, shaping of tone from dark with your hands and your embouchure to something kind of bright because your hands and your embouchure work together. That's another big skill. And another one is to develop your ear by listening, listening, listening to all kinds of music. Now, that's the pyramid, you see, for chromatic harmonica. My question to you, do you spend a little bit of time every day working on correct breath control as an isolated study? Do you spend time on articulation, moving from note to note, perhaps over uh, intervals? Do you, do you do that every day? Do you practice your bends? Do you skill practice, not playing music, skills, bends. Do you do vibrato, different paces of vibrato, you know, different different rhythms and then different amounts off the note, high to low. You know, you could take the note quite low or take it off just a hair. What about your embouchure? Do you shape tone with your hands and your mouth and tongue every day so that you're practiced all over the harp, knowing that a chromatic harmonica is kind of different to play up here than it is down on the low notes? Um, and do you develop your ear every day? So, probably not. For most people, very few players that I talk with actually spend a certain amount of time every day on bass skills. But the harmonica world is not the world of, of bluff. <laughs> you know, I mean, you either have the skills or you don't. And we're all learning and improving. So, if you're not working yet on your pyramid of bass skills, do so, because when you're, the base of your pyramid of skills is solid as a rock, you can keep on growing and growing and growing and becoming better and better and better. And to recap, what are the base skills on harmonica? <sighs> Breath, <sighs> articulation, <sighs> bends, <sighs> vibrato, ooh, ee, ooh. embouchure, <sighs> your ear listening to music, come up with a daily plan for a little bit of practice on each of those, and you're going to find that you start getting where you want to go as a musician with this instrument. That's the story on the pyramid. I hope it's of help to you.